Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I want to do a video about account priorities. And I want to break it down into four different areas, actually, like early game, mid game, late game, and end game. And talk to you about how the priorities of where you should be farming, what you should be doing, drastically changes. Yeah, and I, I would consider my free to play now to be moving towards late game. And I would consider my main account, obviously, to be an end game account. And they behave extremely differently in terms of where I'm going to like send the troops to do the work they need to do. And I just figured like it would be quite useful for people to get a feel of where should they be focusing their time, especially since soul stones have come in. Uh, they've actually kind of flipped where you should focus your time quite a lot. And also like the further you get into the game, the less return for your energy you get doing certain things. So again, I just thought I'd throw it out there. This is this is like a bit of a benchmark, but adjust it as you need to depending on on where your account has developed to start with early game we're going to work our way through early game probably hasn't changed that much early game you've got to focus on getting some six star champions okay i wish they would actually give new players an even quicker path to getting six star champions because the game doesn't really come alive until you get some and you really need to focus on champions that are going to help you in clan boss to push towards nightmare or ultra nightmare clan boss at the fastest possible rate that you can do it clan boss is where you start to unlock daily good rewards and if you can get yourself to nightmare or ultra nightmare they're actually pretty juicy sometimes you get shards almost every day sometimes you get books and you also get some decent gear coming through in cruel sets and immortal sets so the faster you can push yourself to ultra nightmare clan boss the better but even if if you're kind of like that's so far away yeah but you need five champions that are all doing a job for you in clan boss all of them need to have masteries and they all need to be geared and before very long at all you will move yourself into brutal then nightmare and then ultra nightmare and, and that's a kind of early game goal is to just get as far through clan boss as you can and that's going to take six star champions okay Six star champions with masteries. There's a lot of time investment. There's a lot of energy. All of your resources really get pumped in that direction to give you the best possible chance to do it. Early game, you don't really focus in dungeons that much. You don't really focus in arena that much. You basically just use the champions that you've, you've leveled to help you with clan boss everywhere else. They become a jack of all trades. Yeah, they're helping you with any sort of dungeon running that you need to do. The same champions will be used in the arena. You might take a couple of champions up to say level 40 because they don't fit clan boss for you, but they will fit other roles like arena. Like Gordrap here is a good example. I took him up to level 40 ages ago and he's just stayed there and he does a job for me in the arena. That's all he's used for apart from faction wars. Talking of faction wars in the early game, you still want to do faction wars, but you're literally doing like the first couple of levels. You're just making sure that you start to get glyphs coming in on a regular basis. And you won't be using champions that are much higher than like level 20s and 30s. Try and find one that I've actually got for faction wars here. None of them must be all in the vault. Basically, you're using like level 30 odd champions with, there we go, minimal gear. Like level 8 gear on them. They're doing a job, but you know you're not taking them beyond level 30. They're literally just in there. Pretty much a food champion, but they're using your faction war squad to kind of just bolster the ranks. And let you get through the first few stages you are doing things like challenges missions this is this is going to be like for every every level by the way every level you do your daily quests every day and as soon as you can do them you do your advanced quests every day that's just like a very quick thing to do and you earn actually quite a lot of stuff for doing it so you should do that irrelevant of what stage you are in the game that's still worth doing just to top off early game you start to look at your great hall and you start to work on some areas of your great hall it's very slow going the arena is like a byproduct of what you're working on in clan boss and you'll start to just progress your great hall but you should do arena fights and just try and pick out fights which are easy to win early game you're looking at their player power versus your player power generally it's a player power fight yeah player power is just telling you how many stats have i got compared to how many stats have they got and as long as you've built your teams in a sensible way not going into builds here. We've got that all in the free-to-play series. You don't watch that if you need that. And you should be winning those fights as long as you've got a decent kind of setup to your champions or a decent gearing to your champions. The other thing I'd say in very early game is you want to start saving. Like you need to get those six stars rolling, right? But you also need to be keeping a, a think a thought around 
A fusion's coming along soon, and I'm going to want to get it. The fusions or the fragment champions can be absolute game changers for accounts. Yeah, if I think about my free to play, the things that have massively moved my account on was getting the fusion of Helicath, getting the fusion of Walking Tomb Dreng, and then the fusion of Gaius. Not as much, in fairness, but he's been useful. And then the two free champions that I got through login rewards that Raid do from time to time. Shard pulling, great. Every now and again, you get a good one. You know, some of these champions are useful to me. But the ones that have massively moved my account on are the fragment champions that I've earned along the way. So you need to just kind of have an eye on, am I saving shards for those? Am I getting myself in a position that I can be ready? But you're probably not ready yet. You just should be saving and getting yourself into a place where you can be ready for one that's coming up soon. And you probably won't be able to do a fusion or a fragment event until you're maybe a couple of months into the game and you've got kind of some of those six stars rolling in. So let's move on to mid game. How has it changed? Well, the focus is still moving your way to Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss. That's always going to be top focus. But mid game, you're now in a position where you should be tackling fusions and getting them. You should be working your way through the bazaar, 3v3, just pip. Picking off the easy fights and picking up, I've done it already, Drex Fragments every day. That's all you're spending your gold bars on for now, Drex Fragments in the mid game because you want to get Drex art as quickly as you can. You should be working your way through the missions, getting yourself towards Arbiter. And Arbiter should be something that's kind of in your focus. It's not happening today, but it's in your focus. You should be now moving through Doom Tower normal and trying to... Get yourself up through different levels of Doom Tower Normal and get some of the rewards along the way. You should start now be putting some energy into some dungeons. Still concentrating mainly on, on leveling more champions to 60. That's still like your main focus, but you should now be partaking in events for Dragon, for Spiders. They're the two main ones for mid-game to get you better gear that you're going to be using across the game. Speed gear, lifesteal gear, accuracy gear in here and better gear for spiders you should be focused on faction wars and trying to get yourself at least to kind of between level 7 and 14 like somewhere in here or at least stage 6 on like an auto farm easy farm the reason for that is you're getting glyphs but you're also getting stuff to use in the forge and perception gear is going to be like the lifeblood of most of your builds there's going to be two pieces of perception gear on almost all of your main builds to kind of build up your stats. You should be trying to find a way now to beat up Hydra on normal. And this is probably one of the things that starts to change. So you might not quite be there yet. You need someone who can burn really to get you a good, a good way through uh, normal. But actually Hydra rewards start to become pretty damn useful and it should be in your mindset that you, you kind of want to find a way in to start to beat up Hydra. By kind of mid-game, you should now start to be developing an arena team that could do some work. But don't forget, clan boss is still the main thing. Let's move into kind of late game, which is where I think the free-to-play is probably sitting. It's in a weird spot. It's kind of in between mid-game and late game, honestly, because I can farm stage 25 Ice Golem, 25 Dragon, 24 Spider, and 18 Fire Knight. That feels pretty late game to me. I can beat we know 15, no problem. I can beat all of the dungeon keeps pretty damn easy. So in terms of where I'm spending my energy on a day-to-day -day basis, well, if a fusion's running and I want the fusion, I'm gunning for it now. I want to I want to beat it. I want to be beating Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss for sure. The fusions are, are a priority now. And you see, I've almost done this one as well. I still spend most of my time in Dragons and Fire Knight, but actually, uh, sorry, Dragons and Spider, but actually Fire Knight's now becoming more and more important. The gear in Fire Knight starts to really be more useful than probably Dragons when you get towards late game. I do Twins now every Sunday. Twins on a Sunday is well worth it. Other days, it's not worth my energy, honestly. But on a Sunday, it's now becoming quite a big priority. I absolutely want to be at least beating up and getting a max chest on Normal, on Hydra. And I want it to be a double chest. So I want to be in a clan that double chests Normal. Kills it. Ultra Nightmare Clan Boss is a given at this point. You absolutely need to be doing it every day. Faction Wars, you should now be starting to think about how do I start to push factions? What factions can I actually complete now? And then you, you throw resources towards that. So it doesn't mean getting loads of six stars. Which champion should I 50 or 40 or 50 to get me right through to level 21? And that's just about where my free to play. I'm starting to move my mindset on how do I start to think about 
pushing towards Lydia and what factions now can I actually go and beat? Yeah, so I know that I'll be able to beat Demon Spawn pretty damn quick. I know that I'll be able to beat Barbarians quick. And I'm starting to now work around champions that are going to help me get there. So in late game, we should be completing normal. Every different rotation, we should be able to complete normal. I've completed the last two now on the free to play. And we should be thinking about secret rooms, at least doing the ones which we can. I'm not going out my way to build a whole load of new champions to do it, but I am trying to at least work through it. We should be starting to think about how do we beat up hard as well and can we beat up hard and start to get moving on it. So I think I can probably push up to maybe stage 40 or so on hard as it is right now, but it is a step up in terms of stats. But it's definitely an area now that you should be looking at uh, and starting to work your way through Doom Tower hard as well. And then I think when you get to end game, this is where it's really kind of flipped for me in terms of the resources where I want to spend them on my main account. I'm now choosing, do I want to do that fusion event or not? Is it going to drastically change my account? If you're a collector of champions, it's different. You'd probably do them all. But some fusions like Lon Ethereal, I just kind of skipped it. I was like, it's just not for my main account. Mighty Uko, definitely going to be a top tier champion. I'm doing it on the main account. So I'm kind of choosing which one I want to do. Ultra Nightmare every single day, of course, Clan Boss. I want to be in a clan that's beating up now. This is probably like one of the main focuses because soul stones are the main way that I can improve my account at this moment in time. So I want to be in a clan and this is actually a, a tough point for me right now because I'm wondering if I'm in the right clan. I want to be in a clan really that's, that's killing all the heads, uh, sorry, all of the stages of Hydra. I want to be getting Hydra rewards for Nightmare, Brutal and Hard and at the moment we're only beating up hard and normal so i'm probably losing out on some some resources i actually should be prioritizing for an end game account but hydra starts to become so big in terms of the best way for me to get soul stones and clan gold and clan gold also unlocks some pretty good rewards if you're in a, a late game account books shards champions gear sets are important so actually the clan clan shop is a really good source of of end game type of stuff i want to be farming doom tower hard not just be able to beat it i want to be farming it for the gear sets that i want like i want from this rotation to beat up dark fate every minute of every day so i get some more of that juicy the lethal gear yeah so that's that's like a priority for me to try and build up my lethal gear uh, on the main account i want to clear twins every day this is where my energy goes as an end game account I actually don't really beat up Dragon Spider at all anymore, other than through Clan v Clan stuff. I do Fire Knight or Spider when, for my energy, unless there is some sort of event running. If there is a two times speed running in Dragons, I'll go to Dragon. If there is a Savage event dropping here in Fire Knight or a Regen event dropping in Fire Knight, I'll throw energy here. Spiders tends to be my go-to because it's my like silver farm and I can still improve accessories across the account. And I will only go into Ice Golem really if there is a reflex event running or if there is potentially a resistance event running. But that's even not as important to me as reflex. So it becomes quite, quite niche that I would actually go and farm dungeons at all. I would do twins with my energy because again, even though it's crap in terms of the level of drops that you get, it's still the biggest upgrade for my account that I could possibly get. Even to get like level one legendary upgrades or blessings is it's by far the biggest upgrade that i can get yeah other than getting like plus twos plus threes plus fours in empowerment basically doing iron twins is the best upgrade for my account i'm not spending gems though apart from on a sunday where i absolutely will spend gems and on a sunday on the main as an end game account it's going to be the best way to move my account on. So you'll be focused as an end game account on making sure that you pick up Lydia and then you'll be farming stage 20 or 21, depends on, on what you can do quickly or what you want to do. But you'll be doing that every day because the glyphs are a major way of improving your account. And you'll probably be moving on to working now on Romantu as your kind of missions and kind of pushing your way through that as much as you can. So look, I hope that's useful. That's the way I see it. Let me know if you see it any differently to that. Anything that I missed that you kind of focus on that I've not spoken about. But yeah, I've been Hell Hades. Progress your accounts at your rate. I'll see you later.